All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Daytona International Speedway. This is the Budweiser Shootout Last Chance Qualifier. The Bud Shootout Last Chance Qualifier. The top five will get into the Bud Shootout later tonight. Who will it be? Who out of these drivers wants it bad enough to be in this main event tonight? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that is to get those most famous words in motorsports and set this race into motion. Drivers, start your engines! Alright boys, just like we talked about the meeting, what's going to pay off for us today? Here we go, cars rolling out on the track. It is time to look at the starting lineup for the Budweiser Shootout Last Chance Qualifier. As you can see, the starting grid is rolling at the bottom of your screen. You're probably hearing Jake the Snake and Robert Steen something in the background. That's exactly what he's going to do. It's what's going on. Hendrick Motorsports on the front row. We have 24 of Zach Rogers and the 48 of Cody Lamas. Maybe they can work together. Maybe they can. Who knows? We'll have to see what's going on with that The starting grid is still rolling on the bottom of the screen. This is going to be interesting and interesting. Ten laps. Ten laps of racing tonight. Today, excuse me, God. I don't know what's wrong with me. We got ten laps of racing. In the second row, we have Ralph Mason and John Cittadino. Cittadino driving his own car for the race today. I can't wait for this to get started. Ten laps of exciting racing. If you wreck, you're out. You have to go to a backup car. Or no, no, not even go to a backup car. You just, you're done. You're, you're done. <laughs> this is, you, what, you've what you got to be racing your primary shootout car. I know, all I do, I do know is that some people also drive their Daytona 500 cars. But we'll just have to see. Well, we're coming to the green flag here in the here in the Bud Shootout LCQ. The green flag is out, and we are underway here. Ten laps, five drivers. Who gets in? Heading off into turn number one right now. It is it is Zach Rogers in the in the twenty four. Drive to end hunger Chevrolet. Cars are already going three wide in the back. Here comes Red Bell on the inside line. Red Bell going for a second place as Zach Rogers continues to lead here. Look at these cars, still three wide. The top five right now at the line. Zach Rogers. Red Bell looks to be going for the lead. And Andrea Erickson. And Dom Caps. Oh, and the 30 of Ralph Mason as well. Well, uh, here we go. Red Bell now takes the lead. Ironically, in the number in the number 42 red target Chevrolet, we have a white target Chevrolet of Alex May, but we also have a red. Three wide for Sao. Trevor Warwick sticks his nose in there, and this number three Chevrolet is going to go to the lead. He's got Danica Shirley in the 93. Right behind him, here we go, three wide for the lead, but it's going to be the three of Trevor Warwick who leads it at the line. Look at these drivers, three by three by three, all going to, all going to the front and to the back. 
Danica has Wolfgang Mason on her on the back on her back bumper pushing. Here comes Wolfgang Mason to the inside. But let's take Preston Plort is gonna go three wide again for the lead. The 42 car doesn't know where to go. Oh, she's gonna pull in front of the three. Preston Plort is gonna have the lead, but here comes Joshua Collard in the 10. Joshua Collard, this is some exciting racing here. Oops, there's the pace car. Here's the 11 of Daniel Day, rookie Daniel Day, moving his way up from just from to the Cup Series now. He was in the trucks last season. He got a win at Homestead. Now he's driving in the Cup Series. Here comes his. Here comes the team's teammate on the inside. Here comes Nick Smith in the 18. Two rookies from Hendrick or from uh, Joe Gibbs Racing, and here comes Sean Galligan. The Shawns are on the inside. Sean Galligan and Sean Henley. But this line, this this one's going to uh, Daniel Day in the 11. Who is going to win here at Daytona? We are going to take a quick commercial break and be back with the action here at Daytona. Oh, wait a minute. There was a wreck. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We are not going back yet. Oh, we... Joseph Lombard has wrecked. Zach Rogers has wrecked. Dom Caps has wrecked. The caution is out. The race actually might be over. Cody Lamas was in it. Here comes Henley. Sean Henley to the inside. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, we're coming to five to go. We could either have a one lap shootout or this race could be over. It's a fight for the top five positions. Coming to the, the yellow flag. Sean Henley leads them to the line. Look at the smoke coming from turn number one. The top five, Henley, Mary Cole, Daniel Day, Trent Dunham, and Pichu London. But let's go ahead and take a look and see what happened to bring out the caution. Uh, here we go. This is what brings out the caution. Dylan Young in the two turns the 24 into the 48. And it sends them a chain reaction up into the fence and into the wall. The 24 wrecks, the 99 got a piece of it. The 48 car sliding, almost slipping. The 15 just nowhere to go. We have an onboard with Cody Lamas in the 48 car, so we're going to ride with him. See, he's right behind John Cittadino. And then he grabs the gear, turns the car around, and takes off. He must, he's not, he's got to not be happy with that. But ladies and gentlemen, that's what brings the caution out for the first time here in the LCQ. Let's go back up and see if we will get a restart or not. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Daytona International Speedway. We are going to get a one lap shootout to the victory here in the Budweiser shootout last chance qualifier the only person to retire after that wreck is uh, the 10 uh, Joshua Collar who seems to have a who seemed to have had a valve problem so he wasn't even involved really but a tough break for a Joshua Collard who won't be in the butt who won't be in the bud shootout we're gonna quickly go through your top 10 Sean Henley leading Mary Cole second Daniel Day third Trent Dunham fourth Peachy London fifth Zach Goldbeck 6th, Trevor Work 7th, Sean Galligan 8th, Johnson Odino 9th, Andrea Erickson is 10th. Now remember, the top 5 is that cutoff spot. You have got to be in the top 5 at the at when you come across the line for the checkered flag. Pace car pulls in. One lap shootout. The green and the white flags. Here we go. The green and the white flags are waving. Here we go, one lap to go in the Budweiser Shootout Last Chance Qualifier. Mary Cole quickly goes to the very top of the racetrack. That might have been a very bad move for her as the 11 car is coming to the inside. They, these cars have got to get clear if they want a shot at Sean Henley. 
Yeah, look at that inside line, though. Look at that inside line as they're coming up to speed. This is going to be a scramble to make the field. The 11 car is going to jump into line right in front of the 13, trying to get any kind of drafting help to get to Sean Henley. And it doesn't look like it as they're going three wide at the line. Excuse me, three wide. Here they come. They're going to try to race it out. Sean Henley does not need to look back. Sean Henley is going to win the LCQ and transfer into the, all, the, uh, the Budweiser shootout. And ladies and gentlemen, look at your top five. Sean Henley, Pichu London finishes second. John Cittadino third. Uh, the 11 of Daniel Day finishes fourth. And the 14 of Andrea Erickson finishes fifth. So Andrea Erickson is the last driver to transfer into the all the Budweiser shootout. Why do I keep wanting this day all-star race? I don't know. No burnouts for Sean Henley as he's gotta get that car as he's gotta get that car changed tires changed. Do a last minute tune up and get it through inspection for tonight's race. So here's your here's your finishing results. Congratulations to Sean Henley who who wins and transfers into the all the goddamn it transfers into the bud shootout. So with that being said, this race has been brought to you by the NNS Serie Offline Racing at its best. And we will see you guys later tonight for the Budweiser Shootout.